Hi, my name is Suman Kumar. I am the CEO and Chief Engineer at the Yellow Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that is based out of Boston in the US. I am currently at the National Innovation Center in Nepal right now, working with an amazing team of engineers. Uh, the National Innovation Center was able to, uh, during the COVID crisis that is currently going on, uh, they were able to uh, use the resources that they had to build several products like UVC disinfectant chambers, masks, PPEs, uh, the mechanical robot, and the, the ventilators that you can see here. The COVID crisis uh, has taken the world by storm and Nepal is no exception. If you look at the healthcare sector in Nepal right now, we are currently not equipped with all of the resources, especially in the healthcare sector, to be equipped to deal with the, the COVID crisis. So the National Innovation Center was able to use all of its resources to uh, build several products to help the frontline healthcare workers. Our team here at National Innovation Center has been tirelessly working to build this ventilator. This ventilator in specific was inspired by the model that was built by MIT's event team. Because of the lockdown that is currently imposed by Nepal, Nepali government, we were not actually able to import all of the necessary parts that were used by MIT's event team. So we had to improvise a lot and work with the resources that we had. It was extremely difficult for us, but the talented group of engineers and team members here were able to come together and pull all of the resources to build this model that you uh, can see that is in front of me. This model in specific has basically two parts. One is electronic and the other one is mechanical. The electronic part is what controls the in and out motion arm that pushes the, the AMBU bag. And AMBU bag is what is used by frontline healthcare workers in emergency situation. So the basic idea of this ventilator is, uh, is to have the frontline workers uh, avoid the close contact that would be necessary for them to have to basically treat the COVID patients. So we wanted uh, the, the frontline workers to basically treat the patient not by being in the, the physical uh, five meter or six meter, the safe distance from the, the patient so that the healthcare workers are safe and the, the, the health needs are met by the hospital. We are still working on improving the, the design and but this, just until today, this is the first working model that we are able to pull together. But we are hoping to improve this model within a, a day or two so that the model will be workable. And, and maybe hopefully within a week from now, we would be able to deliver this product to uh, healthcare workers if need be in the emergency situation. Thank you so much.